Hey, welcome back to Ontario Lakeside. Today we have a review of the Luetti EB55 portable power station. I haven't done a lot of review videos on this channel, but when Bluetti offered to send me this portable power pack, I thought, you know what, this is a really useful thing that I would like to have, and I think a lot of the people who watch my channel would also like to have. The packaging is very nice. Uh, everything arrived intact and undamaged. With the charging station are an AC charging cable, a solar panel charging cable, and a automotive cigarette lighter style charging cable. The power pack itself is fairly heavy, but uh, not unmanageable. On the front you'll find the DC charging ports, where you'll plug in those adapters I just mentioned, as well as USB-C and regular USB, and your AC plugs, as well as a DC cigarette style output. There's a LED display, which is very nice, shows the incoming watts and the outgoing watts, and you can turn on each of the different charging areas separately. On the back there is a light. And it's quite bright. And it has a solid on, as well as a flashing distress. Overall, very, very nicely built. The handle is sturdy. I like the look of the display. It's a very handsome unit. The manual is well put together, has very nice illustrations, and describes all of the features and technical specs. So we're working outside here today and uh, we're going to give the Blue Eddy a little test. We're going to run this mini fridge and this fan for as long as we can and we'll see how long it can power the two. The Blue Eddy is fully charged. Our fridge is on. And it's currently drawing 90 watts. And we'll turn our fan on high here. This old fan is drawing about 100 watts. So together they're 196 watts. So we'll see how long this will keep going. Well, that was three hours for fridge, fan, and I put the radio on as well. This is the power block that plugs into the AC outlet to charge. As you can hear, it's a bit loud. The ability to charge cordless tool batteries while on the work site or in this case at our off-grid cottage is very useful. I do a lot of work uh, away from the building, down by the lake or sometimes uh, at the bunkie and having the ability to not have to stop to go get batteries from the main cottage and just pop them on the charger is really useful. On the top is also wireless charging. So if your phone is capable of it, you can just drop her on top there and top it up. Uh, 
a lot of things are now going electric and including my little electric chainsaw this thing is super useful out in the woods and being able again to charge up my batteries without having to go back to the main building is very useful If you have a CPAP machine, you know that if the power goes out, it can be an uncomfortable night's sleep. So having the ability to run that anywhere you need to is also amazing. I wanted to try running our ice maker off of the Blue Eddy and it handled it with no problem whatsoever and I was able to run it for about four hours and make about three pounds of ice. So if you're at a picnic or um, boondocking or tailgating and you wanted to make some ice for drinks you could do it right there no problem the Blue Eddy can handle it. I took one of our old solar panels and hooked it up and was very surprised that it was able to charge with no effort. The included cable worked really well and this 100 watt panel was supplying about 70 watts at this time of day and it was fully charged in just a few hours. Another feature that I found really useful was that when you plug something into the Blue Eddy, it will show you the amount of watts that that item is drawing. So you can really get a feel for how efficient some of your different appliances are. Of course, there's plenty of USB outlets for tablets and phones. And all of these outlets can be used at the same time. say you can charge anywhere, I do mean anywhere. Some stats for you. Uh, the unit has a 700 watt AC pure sine wave inverter so it's safe for all of your delicate electronics and it can surge up to 1400 watts. It has a capacity of 537 watt hours and the lithium batteries are good for 2500 cycles. There are 12 outputs for multiple multiple devices and six ways to recharge it. AC, solar, car outlet, generator, AC plus solar, and dual AC. So you could, if you wanted, plug in uh, the wall outlet and a uh, solar panel at the same time to max out your fast charging. And that would allow you to do 200 watt maximum solar input. 400 watt max fast charging with dual charging solar and AC. It's a great eco-friendly gas-free way to take power anywhere you want. So what is the final verdict? I give it five stars. I mean it's well built and it's super useful and every day I've had it I've found new uses for it. I think I'm gonna keep this thing around for any time I'm away from electrical outlets and if there's a power outage it'll be super useful. So hopefully you found this review useful and we'll see you next time on Ontario Lakeside. Mm -hmm.